Shalom. All praises, glory, and honor is due to Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Makakutash. Double honors to the apostles, um, elder bishops, bishops, and elders, and the teachers, brothers of um, Great Millstone, and like minded men who may not be part of Great Millstone but are following the same 100% truth given to the apostles of Great Millstone on down. Yeah? Salutations to the elect, Akim and Akwath, and also so like the elect men, women, and also children of the Bayafta Wada who are predestined to be saved in these last days. And as we know, if, um, we are in the last days, the last minutes of the last days. All the signs are here the pestilences, the famines, the earthquakes, you know, the beginning of sorrows, as Yahweh Shai said. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Meaning in ancient Paleo Hebrew, he exists, and Yah, he exists, or he to be, the existing one, he exists, Yahweh, and Yahweh Shai, meaning he delivers, he saves. Um, so the names are not Jesus, not Yahweh, yeah, not Yahweh, not Jesus, none of those names, because those letters, um, those vowels didn't exist, especially the letter J. Yeah, um, um, the letter J was first used in um, 1524, so Jesus is not his name, it's Yahweh Shai. So really, I mean, I was meditating earlier today, um, just woke up and it was Shabbat. Um, shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Um, so, yeah, I was meditating on a few scriptures on Yahweh Shai's return, so I didn't really have anything um, directly to say, but I just wrote down a few scriptures, and Lord's will, it's edifying. So... Here we go. It's mainly centered around around Yahweh Bashim Yahushai's Yahweh Shai's return and how we should be patient and um yeah and wait for Yahweh Shai who will not meet them as a man. So there again, like I said, Lord's will this is edifying. As birds flying so this is Isaiah thirty one and five. As birds flying, so will the world Lord Yahweh Yahweh Bashim Yahushai of hosts defend Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Yeah, defending also he will deliver it and passing over it he will preserve it so when Yahweh Shai returns um, you know there's going to be a lot of turmoil a lot of wars going on and Yahweh Shai is going to return as it, as the scriptures say defending the people the elect of Yasharala and passing over he will deserve it and preserve it so they're going to be beamed up um, you know for that more clarification and that we read we read um, first Many scriptures, but this what comes to mind is First Thessalonians four, and the sixteenth to seventeenth chapter. In fact, let me just quickly get that. Fourth chapter. So. We'll get to the straight to the point, yeah, right. Um, for the Lord, the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, yeah, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of the Most High, and the dead in the Mashiach will, shall rise first. So, those who are, um, as the previous verses say, those which sleep in the Lord will return with Him, yeah, they shall rise first, yeah. Because we don't really, there's no, we we, we trans, getting off the point, but we go to the spirit world as um, it says in Ecclesiastes, yeah, um, Ecclesiastes three and Ecclesiastes twelve, yeah, that comes to mind if you read those Ecclesiastes three and fifteen, I think, and Ecclesiastes twelve and seven. Let me just get to the point on that. I'm going a bit slightly off topic, yeah, but. That's where the spirit's taking me, so three fifteen. Oh no. It's about four then, isn't it? No, it's not four. Let me just go to this one here. It's a lucky one. Ah. I'm going to make sure. 
Uh, it's in Ecclesiastes. It's 12 and 7, definitely. Let me sure I get the scriptures. Yeah, 3 and 16. Huh? Um, moreover, I saw under the sun, Ecclesiastes 3 and 16, I saw under the sun the place of judgment that wickedness was there and the place of righteousness that iniquity was there. Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto the most high who gave it. And has been now, um, to Ezekiel 18. Um, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh is the father of spirits, yeah? And all judgment has been given to Yahweh Shai. Yeah. <clears throat> the rulership's been given to Yahweh Shai. Um, you can read about that in all over the scriptures, to be fair. So we've got... I'm trying to get to the point. So like if I'm all over the place. So, for the Lord himself, First Thessalonians 4 and 16, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of the Most High, and the dead in the Mashiach shall rise first. Then he, we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds yeah, to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. So, people will get it twisted. Um, so I'm going to get a few scriptures on clarification. Um, um, so we go to Psalms. Ooh, Psalms, I think it's one of Explaining what the clouds are. There we are. Um, um, Psalms 104. Who left the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariot, yeah, who walketh upon the wings of the wind, who maketh the angel spirits, his angel spirits, his ministers of flaming fire. So it explains here that the the, the chariots are clouds which people wouldn't um, which, which people wouldn't commonly known as UFOs. But we know what they are through the scriptures. You read it in Ezekiel, read it in Psalm 68. Yeah, read it all over the scriptures. The so-called UFOs are IFOs. We know what they are. Yeah, right. And they disguise themselves as clouds. In fact, let me just quickly get Revelation. Um, one. Look again, yeah. Um, Revelation one and seven. This is talking about Yahweh Shai's return. Yeah. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. So what that means is, when Yahweh Shai returns, everybody, whoever is left in this world, on this world, will see these chariots. Yeah, will see the whole sky filled, yeah, with chariots, and they also which pierced him. Yeah, so those that, those Roman um, centurions that pierced him, they will also be here. That's going into reincarnation. Yeah. So so like the um, apostles said, you know, you 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 can't you can't really get the scriptures unless you understand that we are reincarnated, yeah, regenerated after generations and generations. Yeah, you get understanding of that in Exodus twenty. You know, beginning of that, you know, repaying the father <clears throat> onto the third and fourth generation. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's it. There's no new thing under the sun. Um, Ecclesiastes one and nine. All right. So that thing is the spirit. So we, we see we, you can't get understanding of the scriptures unless you understand regeneration and reincarnation. And also continue with the scriptures, and they also which pierced him, and all the kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, Amen. Because at that point, these rulers, because the heathens are raging are going to realise that Yahusha has returned and that he's taken his kingdom and he's king, king, lord of lords, yeah? Right, so, um, just, uh, let me just quickly get, no, you know what, I'm going to try and stick to, but let me just get Jeremiah. 23rd chapter. So I've got, um, I've just, this one, of the Saccharon's, Bishop Saccharon's um, video, so um, this is one, one of the scriptures that I got from his video um, that I didn't add it to my list so I'm going to use it now so all praises Yahweh Shem Yashai for giving that inspiration um, here we are, so I'm going to get to to 
to Jeremiah 23 and 6. Get straight to the point. Yeah. In fact, in you know, 5. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will raise unto David a, branch, a righteous branch, that's Yahweh Shai, and the king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute, execute judgment and justice in the earth, that's Yahweh Shai, right? In his days, Judah shall be saved. Like, um, we just read the first scripture, um, Isaiah 31 and 5. And Israel shall dwell safely, yeah? And that's how, again, this is how we know that those people in the land, the small hearts, the 1940s, are not the people. Yeah, because they're clearly not dwelling safely. Safely. And Yahweh hasn't turned, returned, and where's King David? An 144,000 ruling body, yeah? Yeah, and this is he, this is his name whereby he shall be called the Lord our righteousness, yeah? That's Yahweh Shai. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, by Shemuel Shai, that they shall no more say, The Lord liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but the Lord liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country, and from all the countries whither I have driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. Alright? So that just explains when, when <clears throat> Yahweh Shai returns, he's going to gather the Israelites, the elect. Right, and and save them, and they will dwell. We will dwell, dwell safely in the land. Let me get Isaiah forty-seven. When he does return, Yahweh is not going to meet them as a man. All right, Isaiah forty-seven and three. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. This is talking about Esau, Edom, and then um, the elites. This is what's happening now. The shame's being seen around the world. The 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 uh, the astrologers, the moon for prognosticators, aren't working as they used to be. Yeah, this the, the tricks, the trades, the deception is not working as it used to be, especially on the elect. Yeah, um, wow. the scripture just come to mind. It's in the time twelve forty nine. Um, what will I oh, quickly get that? I'm all over the place a little bit still, but. Um, I will take vengeance and not meet thee as a man. So when Yahweh Shai returns, he's not going to meet them as a man. Simple as that. All right. So now, Luke 12. And now I'm a bit all over the place, but phew, that's the way it is. Um, these Yahweh Shai words, these are written in red. Um, Luke 12 and 49. I am come to send fire on earth and what will I if it already be kindled? Yeah. Um, 51. Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth, I tell you nay, but rather division. And this is what we're seeing now. All right. So when he does return, he's going to return on, a, on, a, on an amazing an amazing ship that's bigger than you know that's that's just indescribable right, um, to get an idea of this <clears throat> we're going to the um, second address 13th chapter and we'll start at let's start at one <laughs> second address 13 and one and it came to pass after seven days i dreamed a dream by night and lo there arose a wind from the sea that it moved all the waves thereof and I beheld and lo that man that waxed strong this is Jehoshai with the thousands of heaven and this goes into um, Revelation 1 and 7 and Revelation 12 as well you know the war in heaven but, um, and so and when Jehoshai returns he's going to return with all the angels you know as birds fly as we read in Isaiah 31 and 5 right um, and I behold, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. Did we not read that in Revelation? <laughs> yeah, one and seven. Yeah, yeah. All the earth shall mourn. Right? And whenever, and whenever, so the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice. That the earth faileth when it feeleth, feeleth the fire. So. Is going to be basically just destroying as he goes and saves his, um, the um, elect, as we again read in um, Isaiah 31 and 5. All right, 
And after this I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. Right, so this goes into um, so get a bit another scripture on this is Revelation 12, I think it's 7 to 8, around that, around that area where they tried to fight the Archangel Michael and Yahushai. Uh, this has already been done, but the war is already done, it's finished because Yahweh has spoken the word and it's done. Yeah, so they've already lost. It's just been played out as we, as the days go by, the time goes by, it's just been played out. Yeah, and after this I beheld, and lo, there was to gather together a, a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of the heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. But I beheld, but I beheld, and lo, he had graven himself a great mountain and flew upon it. But I would have seen the region or place where the hill was graven and I could not so that means Ezra seen that it was absolutely massive massive and we've seen <clears throat> over the years and over the time uh, images of chariots that are bigger than the earth yeah so what we're going to know is that Yahweh is going to be seen by the whole world yeah and then they're going to tremble you know even the, some of the elect will be frightened but when, you know, we'll be rejoicing at the same time because we know um, it's Yahweh Shai. And he won't, the Lord's will, we, we stay until the end. And we, yeah, we endure until the end that, that, that he won't come on to us as a thief in the night. And First Thessalonians 5th chapter, the third verse it is. Because to the world he's going to come as a thief in the night. Yeah, they're not going to know what's hit them. They're not going to know. But when he does come, they're going to know who rules. They're going to know who's in control. And actually, Yahweh by Shim Yahushua is in control of everything. Yeah, they're going to know and they're going to respect. So, anyway. And after this, I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to sub subdue him were sore afraid, and yes, does fight. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand nor held sword, nor instrument of war, but only I saw that he sent out of his mouth, as it had been a blast of fire, laser, <laughs> and you know, and spiritual weaponry, yeah, and out of his lips a flaming breath, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests. So this is going to get dealt with, yeah. Um, <clears throat> verse eleven. And they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight, and burned them up every one, so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude nothing was to be perceived, but only just only dust and smell of smoke, when I saw that this I was afraid. See? I said earlier that the elect will be afraid. We're gonna you know, so I mean, yeah. You know, even even um, I just was afraid at the time when he seen the vision. Um, let me just go to Revelation 18 and tell you how long it's going to take. I think it's around about six and ten. No, it's about nine, I think. Yeah, about, yeah, about nine. So. Revelation. In fact, I'm going to get it in this. So get an understanding of what the hour is. Get it in the blue letter. And the king's uh, revelation. Um, in fact, so it's eight. Revelation 18. Therefore shall her place come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. That's from the nukes and from Yahweh Shai's return, yeah? For strong is the Lord power who judges her, and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her shall bewail her. That's when the, uh, Babylon is going to be destroyed. Yeah. All right, which is America, which is um, that whore <coughs> that sit upon the, sit, uh, sitteth upon the beast, and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of the burning, standing afar off, for the fear of torment, of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, the great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. Yeah? 
And it's going to take one hour to, to, to just deal with Babylon the Great. Yeah? Which is America. Going to Jeremiah 51. Put understanding on that. Um, Isaiah 34, Isaiah 13, Jeremiah 49, Jeremiah 50, you know. Um, the Apostle Tahar goes into it all the time, you know, because they're wonderful scriptures to get understanding of where we're at and what's going to happen to the end of, um, of Babylon the Great, America, that great whore. So what do we have to do? Yeah, what we have to do is get a few scriptures on this. Um, let's go to Deuteronomy and then Tephaniah. Um, I'm going to go to that straight to the point actually Lord's will have said if I got to the point and um, I know it was a bit all over the place but it's what we've got to do to me belong of vengeance and recompense their foot shall slide in due time yeah because these elites they're going to they're going to be tripped up they're going to fail you know we, we, we read um, Job 20 and 23 we read Job 5 and 12 they're going to fail, yeah. Because Yahweh Bashim Yash has determined it. They've got a time that they cannot pass, Job 14 or 5. And the things that shall come upon me, take a sorry, salakia, salakia. Um, their foot shall slide in due time. For the day of their calamity is at hand, and the things that shall come upon them make haste. Where have I got them? Where have I got this scripture? Yeah, so, so the point is, uh, so lucky for that. <laughs> to me, belonging vengeance. So we have to wait for Yahabashim Yahashai, because to, to Yahabashim Yahashai belongs vengeance, yeah? Not to, um, not to, not to any of us. We don't pick up sword. We don't get cast weapons. Yeah, we don't do any of that. We just wait upon the Lord. Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour out, to pour upon them mine, mine indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. I'm going to get this. <clears throat> Gonna go. Therefore, Zephaniah 3 and again, therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, till the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the, the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. So I'm gonna get this word. Indignation. Zaham. 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 So anger. Yeah, right. Anger, rage. Right, Strong's definitions. Zaham. H2194. Strictly from froth of the mouth. You know, fury of the most high's displeasure with sin. Angry, indignation, rage. Yeah. Let me look at, um, let's see what the references say. Oh, wow. mm, get a few translation comparisons. Go to the NLT. Therefore, be patient, saith the Lord. Soon I will stand up and accuse these evil nations. For I have decided to gather the kingdoms of the earth and pour out my fiercest anger and fury on them. And all, Salakia, all the earth will be devoured by the fire of my jealousy. With that, Lord's willing, it was edifying. I know I was all over the place. Forgive me. If if I lost, you know, there, if I lost you there. But again, like I said, Lord's will, it was edifying and... 
Shalom to the elect of Bayaftawara, the house of David. Shalom to the elect.